Welcome back to this. Not a podcast. It's not exactly a live stream. This is just my thoughts with Ron Markman. Just my thoughts with Ron Markman. That y'all keep saying that's a good name for the show, man. We're gonna figure it out. But I just want to get into this. Um, right after Drake dropped his Taylor May freestyle on Friday night, then Metro and Futures like that remix leaked. Um, and it was featuring the verse from from Kanye West. Um, and there's some Drake disses, there's some J. Cole disses. Um, there's some things in this verse, man. I'm going to break down some of the lines and then I'm going to get into what I think. As always, I'm going to try to keep it like as unbiased as possible, but I definitely got thoughts and feelings around this one. So before the beat even drops, Ye just out and says, yo, we going to take these pussy out. Yo, dot, I got you. Yo, dot, I got you. I didn't confirm this, but just knowing rap, knowing how Ye moves, knowing how Kendrick moves. I'm confident in saying there's zero chance that Kendrick called Ye and asked him for any type of assistance. Um, we're just going to call that a hunch, right? Uh, you know, and actually, you know, a few weeks ago, it was funny because Ye made a social media post uh, where he said, everyone knows I watched Kendrick on No More Parties in LA. And then he said how he watched Drake at the Larry Hoover concert, um, which he, the Kanye part was way better. Like, I ain't even going to lie. Um, this post was about a week after the original, like that drop with Kendrick's verse, you know, where, and, and, and this is kind of the beginning of, of Drake versus Kendrick, right? This is when everybody starts talk. Then it was Drake, Kendrick and Cole for Cole backed out and apologized, but the conversation and the headlines start to dominate, um, Kendrick, Drake, Cole. All right. So. You know, after the beat drops, Ye gets to the rap and the first line, can't stop, won't stop. I just fucked your bitch in the Sean John tank top. There's a pick of Ye and Metro Boomin and Ye's wearing the Sean John tank top. Um, but considering all the controversy around Diddy, this just seems like an attempt to be provocative. You know, Ye's lyrics is, uh, are usually, you know, if you think of Paris, like, oh, it's got to be provocative. You know, it's provocative. Um, so this just feels like that, right? Typical Kanye bar, you know, that he follows it. You treat a bad bitch like she average. I treat a bad bitch like a fat bitch. Just a typical Kanye. Like, if you listen to Kanye long enough, there's a lot of bars like these. Um, and he starts to get into it, right? You see they try to count me out. I got to try to do it in his voice. You see they try to count me out. I like that. We was just number one. We right back, you know, talking about Vultures being number one, talking about Carnival, the record, being number one on the Hot 100. They hit the top spot around March 11th. Um, from there, Ye talks about his, his new grills, the titanium, titanium grills. He uses the Nelly flow from Nelly's 2005 song, Grills. That was a number one song too, by the way, on the Hot 100, um, just to find a fun fact. But he says, 500 down on the bottom, 500 up at the top, titanium grills, call that smile on the rocks. That's the Nelly bar. Then he goes on to rap about the success of Vultures 1 and how Vultures 2 and 3 are on the way. And then the verse starts to shift from there, right? Right after, you know, this is where the shots start to come, right? Pluto sent the drone. It hit like Metro Beats. And in the background, you hear pew, pew, pew. So it's signifying the the shots are about to come, right? So he goes, it's a rat for, mm, where's Lucy and serve your masters? Mm? You caught a little bag for your masters, didn't you? Lifetime deal, I feel bad for, mm. All of this is referencing um, Lucian Grange, head of Universal back in 2022. Variety reported on Drake's last re-up, right, with Universal. There was a source in the story who called it a LeBron-sized deal. You know, of course, re referencing LeBron's lifetime Nike deal back in 2015. The Drake deal was, of course, for a ton of money, right? Like, undisclosed. Drake has a lyric about $360 million. I'd imagine it's more than that. I, you know, I think... Um, you know, Lemon Pepper, I think he said $360 million. That might just be the first installment or whatever. I'd imagine it's way more than that. But, um, you know, the, the Drake deal, you know, was for a ton of money and Drake's masters um, reportedly, right? So, um, you know, gave up. Uh, who knows? But, you know, we don't know the deals. But Variety reported on it. They said it's a LeBron-sized deal. LeBron did the lifetime deal with Nike. So it kind of lines up to this Kanye lyric. Um, obviously, Ye is independent now. So this is just him trying to 
set up the fundamental difference right now between him and Drake. And, and Ye had a lot of success with Vultures 1 as an independent. So he's setting up the, the differences between him and Drake. Then he ends the verse with, Y'all so, so out of sight, out of mind. I can't even think of a Drake line. Play J. Cole, the pussy gets dry. Play this shit back 130 times. Um, it don't really seem like Drake is out of sight nor out of mind because you're making the diss about him, right? And I can't even think of a Drake line. I mean, I, right. you know, like, and again, this is like unbiased. I, I, I get it. Like, yeah, he's supposed to say that he's belittling Drake, but, you know, there, there's nobody, where you, whether you love him or hate him, that can't recall or recite a Drake lyric. Dude has just been so... um omnipresent you know since he started so you know this is jay just kind of getting his shots in um and out of sight out of mind you know you're making the diss about him now it's kind of crazy play j cole get the pussy dry if you remember back in 2006 now people might be like yo why are you shooting at, at cole back in 2016 excuse me j cole dropped a song called false prophets if y'all remember that he doesn't name names but in the first verse he raps about like a beloved rap star somebody who 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 was like a hero to j cole and you know he paints this person as having a huge ego and talks about how it all falls apart and how it all comes down many believe he was rapping about yay i mean the shoe fits it, it, like without him saying it it was pretty clear he was rapping about yay like cole will have to come out and say yo that wasn't about kanye and and then Maybe we'll believe him, but if the shoe fits, we're here, right? If it sounded a lot like he was rapping about Ye. As an aside, too, that second verse was about Wale, and Wale responded with a song called Groundhog's Day. If y'all haven't checked out those two songs, play them back to back, back to back. Play um, False Prophets and then play Wale's Groundhog's Day. The Wale response was really dope, and him and Cole kind of went back and forth. It wasn't exactly a battle, but they definitely threw bars at each other, you know, in this back and forth, and they remain friends after. So that that was interesting. But so false prophets could be a reason that Ye threw a shot at Cole, even if it came eight years later, right? Um, I didn't want to make this video too long. The verse wasn't that long. I'm going to wrap this up. So th those are the basic bars. My basic opinion around the Like That remix is this. We didn't need it. We didn't want it. <laughs> we didn't ask for it. Like, you, it just kind of feels like to me, you know, what, what we want right now is, and if Kanye did a regular verse, that's fine. But what we want right now, I think what hip hop wants to see, what we've been talking about all these past couple of weeks, is the two biggest rappers right now going bar for bar, um, song for song. We want to see Drake versus Kendrick. You know, that's the entertainment for us. That That's exciting for us to see the two top guys go at it. Everything else is just a distraction to me. You know, when Drake says, you know, 20v1 on push-ups, all this remix does, all this Kanye verse does is add more validity to it. It's just more people gaining up on Drake. And I'm not saying that if Ye got a legitimate issue, I mean, he had all this time to address it. But like right now... It's time for the main event, and it's it's too much just shit on the side going on. Like, we, we didn't want this. Yes, Metro and Futures, We Don't Trust You was a big middle finger to Drake. A lot of people had smoke, but once Dot dropped that like that, everyone else was supposed to clear out. You know, I get that Ross had to respond because as a rapper, that's what you're supposed to do. But to me, Champagne Moments is not a main event record, right? Um, it was cool. It's not the main event. I get that Drake disrespected Rocky and Rihanna on um, For All the Dogs. There was definitely like some subs. Um, at, but that Rocky response, we could have done without that. That just felt like now's the time when you do that. Like, again, he he deserves to respond. But that that was like, a, I don't know. It was just like, why are we doing this now? Um, and now here comes Jay inserting himself. First, where was all this energy when Drake dropped Duppy Freestyle? And Drake's mistake with Duppy, to me, was that he aimed most of his bars at Ye instead of Pusha. 
If you listen to Duppy, so much about that is about Ye. Pusher catches a little bit of strays. I think that was Drake's mistake because right there, to me, Pusher was the clear and present danger. Pusher was the aggressor. And, and he aimed most of the energy at, at Ye. And I think he kind of slept on Pusher a little bit. Then we get Storia added on and, and, and we all know how, how that played out, right? Also, the intro to, to this remix with Ye, yo, Dad, I got you. Why are you making it seem like you're doing this for Kendrick? Or Kendrick reached out. To me, my read on it is that Ye is just doing this for himself. You know, because it, it feels like there's new headlines and rap. Remember, Like That has been number one for three weeks straight. That was shortly after Carnival hit number one. Uh, it was like March 11th. You know, a couple weeks later. Here comes like that, and it stays number one for three weeks. You know, Kanye w- was made big headlines. Him and Ty Dolla Sign with Vulture One, and 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 the success of that Carnival going number one. The success of that, there were a lot of kind Ka- um, Kanye headlines, and I feel like that shifted. And this to me just feels like more of an attention grab than anything, more of a distraction. It just makes it cornea now Kendrick is going to have to come out eventually and respond right but it just looks weak that with Kanye like yo I got this like if they coordinated it and everybody knows I, I know Drake knows Kendrick and Ye didn't set this up I mean you know what nobody really knows I don't really know let me take that back I don't really know but it, it just it just seems to me I, I can't see a world where Kendrick is calling anybody and asking anybody for help but now it makes it easier for 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 Drake or or any to set up that narrative. You know, that 20 V1 adds more validity now. And it's like, yo, this is not what we came to see, man. This this we could have done without this verse. But those are just my thoughts. They're all subjective. I try to keep it balanced. I might I might have went a little unbalanced, but I'm honestly calling it like I see it, man. Kanye's one of the all-time greats. This just felt unnecessary. But let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comments. You know I talk back. We have great conversation there. Even when we don't agree, we have great conversation. So I love all of y'all. And, you know, we'll see when I'll be back with another one, man. But but this week, too, coming up this week, I'm definitely doing a video on the 30th anniversary of Outkast. And I'm going to start a little comic book content, too. Some of y'all might not be here for that. I get it. I understand it. But there's some comic book content coming to man this whole thing for me is just about doing the things that i love man i appreciate y'all but to the next time peace